Prakash Nadaji, Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, Honorable Shri E.S.L. Narasimhan, Governor of Andhra Pradesh in Telangana, Dr. Gulabali Rao, Founder Chair of this esteemed institution, Dr. Bob Macmillan, President of the International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness, distinguished partners of prevention of blindness that are present here, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a privilege to be here to celebrate the 20th anniversary of L.V. Prasad I Institute's Gulabali Prathama Rao International Center for the Advancement of Rural Eye Care. I extend my warmest congratulations. As I stand here, I recognize and celebrate the full significance of this great institution. The comprehensive care that it has provided, especially to the economically disadvantaged and the geographically distant. The dedication, the commitment of Dr. Rao, who a visionary who left the United States with a dream in his eyes, a dream he could fulfill with the high quality of work that he's known for, not only here, but worldwide. Indeed, for many years, this institute has made us proud as WHO Collaborating Center, dedicated to a single, worthy, admirable pursuit, the prevention of blindness. You have done so in a region where the loss of vision and blindness are a problem disproportionate to global trends, and where the challenges we meet and the barriers we must overcome are very deeply entrenched. Throughout it all, it has been a joy to work with you and to witness this institute grow from strength to strength. From 1989, when it started as an eye bank, to now, when it is performing 2,000 corneal transplants. And you have seen the journey in the video that we saw. Since its inception in 1998, GPR Eye Care has changed the lives of communities through primary health care centers, taking LVPI Eye Health Pyramid approach, which we've seen and which we've heard about, linking primary eye care centers, serving clusters of villages through a network of secondary care centers at the district level, linked to a city-based tertiary eye center, culminating in this institute. It is in noting GPR Eye Care's unrelenting commitment, I also want to acknowledge the technical and strategic know-how it brings to every intervention undertaken, to each community it deals with, and each patient that it assists and treats. Indeed, over the years, GPR Eye Care has developed high-quality, self-sustaining eye care services, preventive, curative, and rehabilitative for marginalized communities, not only in Andhra Pradesh, but several states of India, and also in other parts of the developing world. It has helped train frontline health workers to provide basic eye care services, strengthening health systems, and the range of services that they provide. It has participated in policy development and advocacy in keeping with its solutions-based approach and commitment to engaging with a range of partners from the grassroots up. And it has also conducted critical research to better understand the burden of vision loss and to ensure gaps are filled and services provided where they are needed most. This robust, integrated and holistic focus has served GPRI care through a network of some 800 trained professionals, GPR Eye Care has examined around 1.89 million people and performed 2.27 lakh sight restoring surgeries. Forgive me, my statistics are not up to date because I heard a different statistic here. It has screened 8.43 million people through door-to-door -door surveys. And what is very significant really here is that they have taken eye care to the doorstep of people. And the first video we saw was heartrending, where we saw how the son takes his old mother 
to the hospital. And that is, I think, what has happened now with, with this um, GPRI care. They have really taken eye care right to the doorstep of such people. More than that, they have also trained public health eye care professionals countrywide. Beyond its community work, it has helped build capacity of 225 hospitals, which was also mentioned in the video. Arguably, the initiative's success is testament to the power of Dr. G. N. Rao and Mrs. Pratibha Rao's vision, which emphasized the virtue of a comprehensive approach to universal health care. That comprehensive approach has long been reflected in the strategies and objectives of WHO's own global action plan for the prevention of avoidable blindness and visual impairment. Moreover, it is an approach that defines WHO's forward trajectory, whether in realizing the region's own flagship priorities, first devised in 2014, staying on track to meet the SDG targets, or realizing the triple billion goals that WHO is now committed to. Indeed, it is an approach that has universal health coverage at its core. 